Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am bringing you my update, my first update um, of my project Tenpan. So I haven't done one of these in a long time but I was inspired by the lovely Kelly and Lorraine to get back into it because I had done them before and um, I do use a lot of makeup and I've really been concentrating on getting rid of some of the dregs that I've got. I try to um, use my makeup. If I don't like it, I end up getting rid of it or selling it. But if I really, really enjoy it, then I do end up um, using it all or trying to at least. So I have 10 products here and I will show you some of the, I'll start with the ones that I've probably least finished and then just work my way down. So first thing is the Joico Con uh, curl controlling anti-frizz style up for pliable curls um now i could have used this a lot but i just find it so difficult to use and i don't even need to use it but it's there and i feel like i should just to give it more of a go um it was better the second time around using it than the first but i still think there's a long way to go um i, I have actually marked everything which is really useful for you guys so um, this was where it was when I started because I had used it some of it before and this is all I have now moved on to so you can see that there is a difference um, about maybe a centimeter between the two applications I could finish that by the end of next month but it's just driving me mad so yeah that's that um, next up is ooh, this is a hard one okay this one, it isn't that I haven't been getting on with it, it's just that it's taking ages to go down. And this is the um, DHC Beauty Lift Essence, and I love it. I'm so happy that it's taking ages. I use it absolutely every single day as part of my morning skincare routine. Um, it says, after toning, smooth, evenly over face. I actually use this after I use a hyaluronic acid. So I love this, I absolutely love it. I don't know what's in it, but it says it's hydrating. And I think it really, really is that. My skin has not been, uh, I think it's a toss up between the two things, hyaluronic acid, which you will see in a minute, and this. I think they've been the, the contributing factors. So this has, um, yeah, definitely been a good one, but not loads has gone down, but I'm happy about that. I don't want it to finish. I think I've marked it right. I believe I've marked it right, although now I think I might be a little bit too high. I think it is a little bit lower, but oh well. I'll be gutted when this finishes, but I'll probably end up repurchasing it because I really love it. Um, okay, and then I have... I suppose I should show this, but I haven't marked it yet, so I might as well mark it now. This is the Ordinary Skin Care Natural Moisturising Factors Plus HA. I use this usually at night time. I don't use it every single night because I do try other things, but I do use it a lot. But I know that it's down to about here now. Um, it was already halfway down. I don't know whether it was full to the top, to be honest, when I started using it in the first place. But again, this is another one that seems to be taking a long time, but I'm glad because I really actually love this. I'm finding it a really lovely hydrating um, moisturiser for night time. I've heard people say that this isn't massively um, thick, but I think it is. I've said that in every single video where I've mentioned this, but I do like this. Out of a lot of the things that I've been using, this is one of the things that I've enjoyed the most. Um, so yeah, loving this, and I reckon I will definitely have this finished by the end of next month though, for sure because everything else seems to be going really, really well. Um, the next thing is the DHC. Oh my God, I've managed to get uh, nail varnish everywhere. Oh well, it's okay. <laughs> I just didn't let it dry. This is the Eye and Lip Makeup Remover by DHC. And as you can see by the two marks there, I have really got quite far down and I really think this is good. Japan and Korea get this dual phase eye makeup remover right every time in my eyes. I only need to dampen the cotton wool, hold it over my eyes, especially when I've got like a winged liner like this, and I just sweep it gently just a few times and it will take off 
most of the makeup. Now, what I do do is have this as my second cleanse eye makeup remover. I use a balm first and then I use this afterwards just to take those last stubborn bits off, but still without rubbing my eyes, which I think is really working for me. I love this and I'm really pleased that it is in this project. Um, next up is my number seven translucent perfect light loose powder so how I measured this was I held it this way and I've put a little arrow so you can see I held it this way and um, I put the line where the powder was it as its level um, so I started here so it's almost full and now I am down to here and I'm really pleased because I do have another one I've been really concentrating on this and I've got another one exactly the same that I would like to finish because I want to try some new powders but I'm not going to do that whilst I have these I just know if I buy another one I will not be able to it does say it's got hyaluronic acid in it Apparently, I have heard, because I don't have the other one, this is a dupe for the Laura Mercier powder. So um, I definitely want to give that a go. And when, maybe when I move on to the next one of these, I will buy the Laura Mercier one in preparation for using it. And um, yeah, give it a compare. Let me know if you want that, by the way. And then the final thing I haven't quite used up yet, which has marked everything, is the uh, Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum. And I've probably got one application left. It looks full because the bottle is never empty and it's so frustrating but I can see when I open up the lid how much there is left. So when I started I was here and now I am just here and I was mixing this with the other foundation that I had but I did finish the other one and I'll talk to you about that in a minute. But yeah, I love this foundation. I think it's a really lovely light foundation. It isn't particularly long wearing, but I do find like in the summer especially, this is really nice to have on, really refreshing, smells lovely. I really like it. However, I would say it isn't my favorite anymore. I used to really, really love this, but I really like the Rimmel Match Perfection with the blue lid. Um, so that and that'll be in my next project pan I think so yeah absolutely loving this and it's nearly finished and those that I finished up so there are four products in this update that I have actually finished um, and I think you know that's pretty good going one of which is the rainforest of the sea um tart foundation i bought this ages ago i absolutely loved it and it mixed really really well with that other foundation i just showed you the bourgeois one this has got an spf of 15 not that i think that does much it's got a dropper but i just can't get any more out i've tried um oh now there's a, a tiny bit in there it's not enough for an application so um yeah it's a bit of a nightmare to get this last bit out again it looks full but when i started it was there on that blue mark there and now it it to me has finished and it will be going in the bin so yes i might try and get that tiny last drag out so it's hard to get it out i did try it's not like because it's a glass bottle you can't cut into it or anything um, next up is this mascara. This is the Mally More is More mascara. I really did enjoy this, but I probably wouldn't repurchase it. This um, has gone really gloopy, and I don't like it when mascaras go that gloopy. So that has died a death. But yeah, loved that. Uh, then the Pi Comfrey and Calendula Calming Body Cream. This is really good. Um, I try I squeezed every single last drop of this out I probably could cut it in half actually and get those last bits out but I really really love this and this was halfway and I've used it every time and I have another body cream um, that I'm using now which is nearly finished as well so I can finish those up and I can start on a new one so really loving this and um, I don't know whether I would repurchase this but yeah, I do really enjoy it. I think it was really good and I'm really pleased I got it. I actually got this as a PR sample. So um, I did want to give it a really good go and I'm really pleased I did because it has been lovely. And finally, I think this is sort of my shining glory to be honest. This is the Neod Multi Molecular Hyaluronic Complex. Um, I love this. I've It was part of my morning skincare routine along with the DHC serum. It was only here when I started, to be fair, I'd nearly finished it. It's only a 15ml bottle, and I think 15ml is about £29, which is really expensive. This is incredible. If I have noticed already since stopped using this that my I'm getting bumps under the skin here, and 
I think this really smoothed out my skin. I think it's such a good product. I'm using the Ordinary Skincare, which is the same brand. They're both Desiem. But um, it's just not the same. It's not got the same percentage of hyaluronic in it. And I'm not sure about it. I'm going to keep using it because I want to finish it up. But I really, I, to be honest, I want to get another one of these or something similar. This was really good. Really, really good. I noticed such a difference in my skin. And I have stopped using it. And now I can tell just the bumps there are really prominent. I, I can really tell. Um, so I miss this and I'm sad that I finished it, but that's it. That is my update. I hope that you've enjoyed this update. Um, let me know if there's anything you want to know. Sorry about the lighting. That was a bit rubbish. Um, I'm really chuffed that I've managed to finish four. I think that's good. And I think if, um, uh, Kelly or Lorraine are watching this, I hope that you are proud of my progress. Uh, I know that it's always nice to cheer everybody on. Let me know if you're taking part in a project pan. I'd love to hear from you. Comment down below and just let, um, if you've got a channel, comment down below as well. Um, but don't, like, say that you have a channel. Don't lead me to a video. I will find you through your comment. Because otherwise you will be put into my spam and that really is, um, you know, it's just an automatic thing. So that's it. Thank you so much, guys. And I hope you've enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to, but you don't have to because it doesn't matter anyway. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.